Hey everybody, so yesterday I made a video comparing Game Center on iOS 4 and iOS 5. So today I'm going to be comparing Game Center on iOS 5 and iOS 6. So on the front page it looks mostly the same. I think they made the felt a little bit lighter in iOS 6 for some reason. And you'll also see that they've spaced out these buttons a little bit more. And also if you don't already have a photo, it will say add photo instead of change photo, but once you add a photo, this will change to change photo. So some minor differences there. So going into the friends page, you'll see that they've updated the recommendations a little bit. So instead of having this box with red felt that says no recommendations, they've removed that and they've also given you the option to use your contacts for recommendations. Also, a minor change, if we go into add a friend request, you'll see that they've removed this yellow line below the uh, text bar, and they've also shrunken down the text bar a little bit. Next in games, you can see again that they have removed the game recommendations. I don't know what happened to that. It's not here in the bottom either, but that's really the only difference there. So going into a game, You'll see that they've changed things up a little bit here, so if there's only one leaderboard, then it will just show it right up front here instead of you having to click on it, um, but that's all the same. And going into achievements, you'll see that they've added a point count right there. You can also see that the achievements are more spaced out now because they've replaced the point count from the side to below the little icon here. And you'll also see that they've now added the developer of the app right above the title. And they've also changed this get button to a get app button and repositioned it. And also you can now slide on a game to remove it where you could not do that before. So next is the big change. We have a new tab for Game Center Challenges. So this is not available on iOS 5. But now um, people can challenge you in games, so um, it's pretty self-explanatory. So you can go into a challenge, and if you don't have the app, you can get it right here from the App Store. If you do have the app, this will say Accept, or you can also decline it. And if you want to challenge someone, then you go into a game and then click on Achievements. And if all your friends have already completed an achievement, then you won't be able to press the Challenge Friends button. But if you have friends that haven't completed the achievement, then you can click the challenge friends right here. Um, you can enter a message and send, choose which friend you want to send it to. Or you can also share this. But uh, yeah, there's that new challenges page. And the requests page is exactly the same as it was before. But you do also have Facebook friends integration in iOS 6 for Game Center because they've added that feature in iOS 6. And there's some other minor UI enhancements. Like I said earlier, it's a slightly different colored felt. And um, they removed the little bar and shrunk down the text field for some reason. Um, and also, they have made the corners rounded on iOS 6, just like they did with all the other apps in iOS 6. So yeah, that's pretty much all the differences between Game Center on iOS 5 and iOS 6. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.